you are watching the Rick Van Man channel. And in today's video, Rick is out and about. Well, greetings and salutations. This is Rick. I do hope you're having a great day. I'm out in the van today, as you can see, and uh, I'm heading off towards a place called Ashen Plains, which I've uh, been to several times before. Uh, we're going to do some camping there for a few nights. Uh, I'm meeting up with my good friend Scudo, uh, or Austin, uh, and a guy you may or may not know called Joe Wheeler. And Joe, I've known Joe right from uh, my very, very early days on YouTube. And Joe, uh, he started, or he found my channel by watching a lot of my uh, how to make movie videos and Joe has sub subsequently gone on to become a professional movie maker and uh, so you know he's, he's been off to Hollywood and America and places like that to sort of uh, do his work so it's really cool and I'm really looking forward to meeting up with him uh, catching up I mean I've met up with him a number of years ago uh, up at um, Savanac Hill when we were camping last time but uh, so it'd be great to catch up and uh, see how he's getting on. Now I must say uh, big thanks to everybody for all of your feedback regarding that 360 degree video that I put up uh, last week. Now um, it was really useful actually and really interesting to sort of read some of the uh, the, the feedback and, and how people were getting on with it. There was quite a bit of confusion as to what it was all about and I've subsequently learned that if you were trying to view it on Internet Explorer it doesn't work you wouldn't have got the 360 effect what you would have got was the full 360 degree video crammed onto a normal rectangular video so it would have looked completely bizarre um, I'll show you a little screenshot of what you would have seen had you been watching it on um, Internet Explorer and what you were supposed to be seeing was this. I'll show you a clip. Uh, this is how it's supposed to work, where you either use your mouse uh, and drag the picture around, um, or you can use your finger on um, like a, an iPad or a smartphone um, or, or any kind of um, tablet device, uh, and then you can move the picture around. And what you should have been able to see is just like a regular video, but you, you can then position it in whatever position uh, you want to see it in. Now, a note on the quality, um, unfortunately, 360 degree videos are still, all of them are still very, very poor quality. But I've just recently heard that YouTube have just employed a very large team of people to try to address that. And they're going to see what they can do about um, making 360 degree video quality much better. I was going to bring the telescope with me but unfortunately the forecast is not good it's overcast for the next few days so we're not going to get any clear skies so I didn't think it was worth uh, doing. Notice I didn't need my glasses today it's strange I get some days when I need them and other days when I don't um, but uh, we're doing okay today must be something I'm eating. <laughs> Actually saying that, I just treated myself. I've never done this before, but I just treated myself to a bottle of 12 year old single malt whiskey. And uh, I've actually bought it with me. I thought I'd share it out amongst, uh, amongst the other guys. Um, quite an experience that. I've, I've been used to this kind of blended stuff that, um, you know the cheaper stuff I spend sort of 13 14 pounds a bottle on it and uh, to be honest it takes me six months to get through a bottle of whiskey I'm not a, I'm not a big drinker um, but when I fancy a glass I really really enjoy it and uh, I was doing some shopping the other day and I just thought go on I've, ju I've just had my paycheck through and uh, I had a little bit of tiny little bit of spending money so I thought go on I'm gonna do it and uh, I got this bottle of uh, it's Glen Fiddich, and uh, I've never spent that much on a bottle of alcohol in my life before, and I probably won't do it again. It was just a one-off treat. I may have a little tipple tonight because I I can now drink. At one point I couldn't drink uh, because I kept getting gastritis as a result of it, 
um, but I seem to be okay now so um, I'm so sort of grateful about that anyway we are here here's the little woodland where you can go on that little woodland walk and the right turn is up here now these banks are looking pretty soggy so I'm gonna have to be careful there's Ashen Plains there's the block um, so let's see if we can get there without getting uh, stuck in the mud uh, it doesn't look too bad at the moment it looks pretty firm right that's it let's go camping Okay, it's early evening. Um, I decided to set the van up on the grass this time. Uh, last time we were down on the hard standing um, around there because the ground was too wet. But today, uh, the ground's pretty firm, so I'm happy to uh, park on the grass. And uh, uh, we've just got dinner on the way. Um, we've just been having a good old chat with uh, Dave, the guy that runs this place. A really friendly chap, I really like Dave. And um, he's actually, we, we were going to order um, uh, a doner kebab, but uh, the shop was a little bit confused as to where we are. So he volunteered to go down and get the kebabs for us. So thanks for that, Dave. I really appreciate it. Um, we got Austin and Joe. Uh, Austin's just arrived and uh, they're just setting up a tent. And tomorrow, hopefully the weather's going to be a little bit better tomorrow because it's quite overcast and it's been raining quite a lot this afternoon. Um, but hopefully the weather's going to be a little bit better tomorrow and I'm going to have a little wander around and make a bit of a, uh, a video of sort of everything that's around here. Uh, Hello. Hello! So, as you know, you know Austin? No. And you may <laughs> or may not know Joe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is Joe, uh, who I, was, I, I mentioned earlier. It's here. It has arrived. Donna Kebab. <laughs> How's yours, Joe? It's good. Yeah? yeah. Chili and garlic. Mate. Chili and garlic yeah. mayo. Yeah. Oh. And we've got a free bottle of Coke as well. So we're happy. Yeah. Where's Austin? Putting his awning up. He's putting his awning up. I did ask him if he wanted it up. He's like, no, he's all right. Actually, yeah, we did, we did say it was going to be here. So he might have to have a, a cold one. We've put, his, um, we've put his kebab by the fire just to sort of keep it warm. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work. But uh, we'll see. Well, good morning. It's the next morning and it's raining like crazy again. Um, <laughs> I've, I've just got up, just had a shower. Uh, the showers are quite warm actually, which was quite nice. Um, it, the, the whole site here is actually, uh, it works off grid. Uh, so the only way you can get hot water is to uh, run the, uh, the little wood burning stove, which we were all sat around last night. So. Um, that gave us lots of hot water this morning, which is really good. Now, according to the weather forecast um, that I read yesterday, it's just supposed to be overcast today. It's not supposed to be raining, but it hasn't stopped. Um, and it's about 10 o'clock in the morning now, and uh, it's just, um, it's just, actually the rain has stopped now, I've said that, but it's basically been going all morning. Um, so anyway, there we go. Right, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll switch you back on again when, uh, when anything interesting happens. do some washing up. Um, I forgot my tea towel so uh, I thought I'd go back. The sun's starting to come out now and I can actually feel a kind of a, a warmth in the air. Uh, the sun's really trying to shine, the rain stopped, so I'm kind of hopeful we might actually have a nice bit of weather uh, for the rest of the day. That would be nice. Just had a really nice breakfast and uh, that was eggs and bacon and sausage uh, which was really nice. Here's the washing up uh, facility and uh, I'll stick you there for a minute hopefully you should be alright. But yeah I'm gonna have a little wander around in a minute and uh, 
plonk the old 360 degree camera down and uh, see if I can just get a few shots and then I'm going to try to stitch it all together into a, like a, a virtual tour video uh, which should be good. There's nothing quite like the uh, the sensation of doing the washing up outside with all the birds tweeting around you. You're sort of in the open air but you're doing like home domestic things. It's quite it's quite a strange a strange thing. But it's kind of a good strange. So there we go. Right. Let's uh, let's go do something else. Well, you'll be pleased to know, or you might not be pleased to know, I don't know, but uh, I was able to cook breakfast and uh, make a cup of tea and do everything I needed to do with the bed still made up. Um, so I think in future I can leave the bed up if I'm going to be staying more than one night and it shouldn't be an issue. And that means that I don't have to make the bed up every time I want to use it, uh, which is really good. Obviously, I need to see how I get on during the day if I want to just come in here and relax. I, sh I mean, hopefully I should just be able to put the uh, the bed down like that and just kind of sit along there lean up against the wall I've got a cushion there um, so hopefully uh, I think I've uh, solved another um, issue which is really good now you may have noticed that I've got some studio lights at home there's basically a, a big tall stand uh, with a big sort of uh, a rectangular umbrella and I've got a pair of those and uh, when I bought the 360 degree camera, um, I was having trouble with the tripod that I was sitting on being too big. Uh, basically, on a tripod, you've got this big sort of flat plate and then you've got a big arm that sticks out of it. And on the 360 degree camera, you could see all of that. So what I did was um, on those studio lights at home, I took one of the umbrellas off just to see. I had a kind of a theory that it might be that it might work. And it turned out right. This is one of the stands from uh, my uh, studio lights. And on the top, there is a screw thread, which is a tripod size screw thread. It's exactly the right size on which to fit, a, if I don't drop it, a 360 degree camera, which means I can take 360 degree uh, camera shots without uh, all of the gubbins on the tripod getting in the way. So that's pretty good. So there we go. That's my 360 degree camera. And it's basically, as far as um, the camera's concerned, it's virtually suspended in midair because you won't see this. You might see a little bit of the, uh, the legs, but uh, you won't see anything around here. So I saved myself a little bit of uh, uh, money there because I thought I was going to have to buy a, a stand specifically for the 360 degree camera. So I think I did okay there. Well, I'm going to take this and I'm just basically going to wander around the site and uh, see what images I can get. The only problem with the 360 degree camera is you want to stay out of sight when you're filming it and it's really difficult if it's looking all the way around. So it's fine like with a normal camera because you can stand behind the camera like that. See, you don't know I'm here. Apart from the fact I'm uh, holding the camera and moving it. But with 360, you've got to literally physically remove yourself from the line of sight of the camera. Um, so that might be a bit of a challenge. I don't know. At the moment, I'm just kind of peering or I'm sort of hiding behind this thing. And hopefully you can see the camera. If I peer around the corner, you can see the camera stood in the field just taking a shot. And uh, I should just give each shot like a minute uh, and then I should go back and then take another shot. And uh, it's quite windy today as well, so you might get a bit of wind noise on this um, on this video. Hopefully not. I'm trying to stay out of the wind as much as I can, but um, apologies in advance if uh, some of my words get uh, wiped out by the wind. There we go. Right, so that's recording. I get out of the way. Oh, good grief! Look at my hair. Mm. That's the only thing when you go camping is uh, <laughs> you end up with camping hair. Uh, never mind. That is warm though. I am, I am quite impressed by how warm it feels today. It's uh, it's nice. It's it's such a pleasure to come out of winter, and uh, 
This is the first time I've been outside since the winter and actually felt warmth. It's nice. I hope there's lots more of that this year. There we go. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> you remember my my um <laughs> my wolf top, my lovely wolf top. I made the mistake yesterday of wearing my hoodie while it was raining and it got really damp. And uh, so last night, with the fire going, I decided to sit it on the fire and dry it out. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> my poor top, it actually, uh, it ended up smouldering. So sadly, that's the end of it. And I can't even like rescue it or take it home because it stinks. It absolutely ooh, stinks of burning paper. So, uh, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye to that one. Fortunately, I've got a second one. I bought two of them. So uh, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. But I'm just leaving that there for now and uh, I'll pick it up before I go. Right, let's move on with this camera and go find something else. Right, I'm in the, uh, the woodland right next to the campsite. And I remember this from the last time I was here. There's an enormous ant's nest here. This is huge. And the whole thing is like wriggling. You can see it, hopefully, with these big uh, kind of black and red colored ants. I can't get too close because I think they'll, you'll be out of focus, but it's pretty fascinating stuff. But yeah, this, this could be quite an interesting place for a 360. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, don't you make me jump, bird. <laughs> That's um, pheasant. Right, let's just get this set up. And... Okay, I'll... Where shall I aim the camera? It doesn't matter if it's 360, does it? Uh, let's go here. There we go, that's recording, so I need to get out of sight now. How's that going to work? Uh, let's go over here. Right, you may or may not have seen this in previous videos. This is my little drone. This is the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. It's quite an old model now. Um, but uh, what I've done is I've arrow dighted a cold shoe onto the top of the drone. Um, and I've been able to put the 360 degree camera on it. Now some people have, uh, have got a little bridge to go across here and they've, they've actually hung the camera underneath. But um, the feedback that I got was um, the wash from, the, from the, the rotors actually interferes with the, uh, the quality of the image. So you're actually better off with the, um, the camera being up here. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I thought I'd give it a go and uh, see what happens. So I'm just gonna have a little fly around in the area here. And uh, I've obviously got the, the other camera underneath as well, which is on a, like a little stabilizer gimbal thing. Um, so hopefully we should get some, uh, some good footage. Now before we can take off, we've got to make sure we've got enough satellites. So we've got eight satellites. Any less than about six satellites and it'll drift. Once you get about, well ideally nine or more satellites, it'll lock it off and it'll, it, won't, it won't drift too much. So we pull these down to start her up. And then we go straight up, see what happens. There we go. So because we've got a lock of uh, eight satellites, it's pretty stable. So you just basically that for forward, that for back, and obviously go side to side as well. And this is showing me the picture that the camera's picking up. I think what I'll do is I'll put the camera pointing forward. Um, there we go. That's pretty good. And I'll start recording. And let's go for a flight.
Right, this is a, a little tiny baby version of a drone. A lot more fun to work with. Oh, hello, I've lost a prop. I just crashed it into the side of my van. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go and find another prop for it. Oh, no, that's it, that's working. It's a little bit uh, more fun. But there's no satellite on this one, so it's, uh, and it really struggles with the wind. So it's difficult to uh, keep it stable. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have one, he let, me, he let me one have a go at it. Yeah. One of those, it's cool. They got the little 720p camera on them, haven't they? Yeah, the problem is I had to disconnect the, the camera from the controller because it just eat, et, et through the batteries. Ah. Uh, um, look at that sky up there, that cloud. That's a bit ominous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I got some good time that sort of cloud. It looks really sci-fi like. Hold on, I've got a UFO in there. Recording. You can have a selfie stick or a brook. <laughs> I don't mind whatever you go, whatever you don't want, Joe. I'll, 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 have. I'll go have a selfie stick. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Right, come on, then, let's do it. Let's do this. Mind you, I got everyone. <laughs> we, we'll play some dramatic, epic music as we all sort of walk into the, yeah. walk into the shop. <laughs> The things we do for our art. <laughs> Hope you guys appreciate this. <laughs> oh, somebody hand me some painkillers, please. Oh. So, so Ellie, what do you think of it so far? <laughs> uh, so yeah. Anyway, you know Scudo. Oh, Austin. I keep calling you Scudo. Sorry. <laughs> That's on me now. Is it? <laughs> That's Austin. At least you don't call me Tranny. You know, you know, you know Damon. <laughs> and you may or may not know Joe. And Joe, Joe, Joe Wheeler is a name you may or may not have heard of. Um, in some circles you would have known him and he's quite famous. In other circles you might not have heard of what he does. But Joe, what is it you do? I'm a filmmaker, basically grindhouse and horror films. <laughs> and a musician, yeah. Joe does some really cool stuff, actually. He's uh, got some really cool music, but he's... I mean, you've been to Hollywood and everything, haven't you, for filmmaking? Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I'm not used to being interviewed, really. But I, I <laughs> he's as nervous that. as anything here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, I've been to Hollywood, filmed in Hollywood, uh, done a film festival, got awards there, and I actually did a, a director's uh, speech uh, or a talk in front, like Q&A in front of camera on TV. And... Uh, Awesome I was stuff. fine with that, but now I've got. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a fright. Actually, all comedians say that. They say the most intimidated they ever are is when they get a little audience. Yeah. When they got a, like a massive hall yeah. full of people, they're in their element. You get a little, little um, yeah. you know, they're like, is it rabbits caught in the headlight, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. But I guess, I think what it is, what it is, it's because when I'm at those sort of events, I'm prepared for it. That's what I'm there for. But this, I've come to do a camping trip, and I did expect. I sprung it on him. <laughs> so basically if you're in a like it's really gory horror isn't it yeah, yeah. It, well it's it's gory but it's not really that gory it's more psychedelic and trippy um mm. some people actually on youtube have done a video review and they review like extreme cinema really gory films and they said that it took them about 10 times to watch the film not because it was well they said not because it was bad because they felt like they had taken acid when they <laughs> Yeah. So that's that's how crazy it is. It's like psychological stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's trippy, and I've done it so that there's you have to watch it more than once because there's too much going on. Mm -hmm. 
And it's your mate, your your trademark character is the, the thing I can never get away from. <laughs> yeah. See, go on. Django, Django Hooper. J Django Hooper. Yeah. See, the, the, we had this conversation yesterday. Jo Joe gets associated with that kind of stuff, even though he's like. He's actually not like that in real life in any way. It's yeah, quite basically, funny. <laughs> people think I'm a crazy, raging, lunatic psycho. <laughs> he's not. I, I, I can vouch for that. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. been here two days and he's I been perfectly, be. perfectly normal. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be sitting. I'll be in my tent now. I wouldn't be sitting drinking tea and whatever if if I was out. You know. But isn't that true though of a lot of a lot of like actors that do like that you know play the hardcore stuff and and. They're, they're totally not like it in real Which, life. but I guess it's like Quentin Tarantino, Rob Zombie. I, the movies are like, they're like, um, I don't know, when you're a musician, you've got your, your influences. So they're my influences. Mm. Rob Zombie, Quentin Tarantino, they're not, I, I, I'd say I'm different to what, normal. I'm not normal. <laughs> I'm strange. I'm, I'm crazy. You're a, I'm you're weird. An, you're an artist. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I think all artists are a bit, crazy a bit weird don't fit in with the norm but yeah and i've lost what the question was <laughs> i i can't remember what it was no. either but that, that might be the um the the single yeah it was malt, about um, the yeah and the rum uh, no, no, no. Rum. we didn't even have rum, <laughs> no, rum. I mean, we were talking that. about rum yeah, we were yeah. talking about rum um, yeah. <laughs> yeah other filmmakers being classed the same i guess some mm. people do think quentin tarantino's a psycho i don't know i've never met the guy mm. yeah I've run out of questions. I got. To, I'm trying to think of some grown-up questions, and I'm 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 not good at asking grown-up questions. So, but um, but anyway, this is Joe Wheeler, and I will leave a link to his channel if I may, and in the uh, the notes below this video. And uh, by all means, uh, go over well, actually, and check out. Joe's I don't channel. really use my channel that much. Yeah. <laughs> I just log in so I can watch other people's channels. Um, Maybe my website will be better. Your website? Okay, yeah. all right, I'll do that. Although well, I'm quite happy to put whatever link you want underneath this Unless video, I should so. just come back to YouTube. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think you should do that, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. okay, so there we go, that's Joe Wheeler. And in fact, we were actually making some um, videos today. He was, he was getting his creative mind yeah, going, and yeah. we've, we've come up with um, a couple of things. He was getting us acting earlier, which is quite funny. Yeah. So uh, whether you actually get to see that or not, we'll, we'll see how it turns oh, out. You but. will, you will. Whether, whether it... <laughs> looks the way I wanted it to or not it'll either be a really good sci-fi type theme or it'll be a comedy I was yeah. gonna say we had a yeah. such a giggle earlier yeah. we was doing yeah. some doing some wacky stuff or you'll if you haven't already seen it in this video you'll see it in this or later in a different video but um, yeah it's been it's been it's actually it's been a really good, yeah, it's good yeah. um, I was gonna say weekend but it's midweek isn't it yeah, yeah. yeah. It's bizarre, um, isn't it? But um, but yeah, we may see you again in the the, the next or well, a future camp. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. which would be really cool. So uh, yeah. in my little tent, in your little tent, <laughs> he's in this little tiny little one man tent yeah. in the rain. Well, like, right, right, right. I just got one thing to say. Right, I make this I made this crazy horror character. He's a cannibal. He's a psycho. He's a lunatic. Uh, I made this whole cult of people in, in this movie. I can't watch horror films on my own, <laughs> and it, this is embarrassing. I should even be saying this because I've had the drink. I will. <laughs> the guy that owns this site, Dave, he said, "Oh he yeah." Said the road down there is called Axe Lane, and then the first <laughs> night here, we we was in the communal hall having a chat, having a drink, and we was talking about conspiracy theories. Uh, we were doing ghost really stories, ghost everything, stories, everything, alien yeah. stories. Yeah. Then I've gone back to my tent. Well, I've walked outside. I thought. Oh my god, it's dark. It's alright for them two. They've got a van, they can lock yeah. their doors. I'm in a tent. And then I've got in my tent and I thought, I can hear footsteps. Then the image I had in my head was someone standing over with an axe, boom. I'm like, oh no. So I go back and put me bed in the communal hall, but I lasted the night, so Oh fair play to you. Yeah. I, I probably wouldn't have lasted out. I would have been in the hut or in the uh Well I, I, hall, I, I yeah. had a game on my phone that took my mind off it. You have to guess the pictures and yeah. Oh that's fair enough. Is that a helicopter? Hope so. Yeah. Otherwise, it's um, Barrett's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By double glazing. <laughs> so there we go. Right. Have a light in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to carry on having a little tipple and uh, having a good old chat, and I'll catch up with you in a moment. Cheers. <laughs> I've run out of drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Well, good morning. This is uh, Friday morning. It's the uh, the last day. We're all going home today, and uh, I'm just going to sit uh, and uh, cook some breakfast. I put the bed away, and um, I I have to admit this is the first time I've ever been away. Um, I think in any van where I've got two nights sleep in a row, uh, completely like undisturbed. I slept really well last night, and I slept really well the first night. And I've done that by having two futon mattresses. So I think I'm gonna stick with this arrangement. It's a little bit clumsy up here with the second mattress because um, it doesn't sit very square during the daytime. Um, but I think I've cracked it now and I've actually got a really comfortable bed. So um, I'm gonna stick with this arrangement for a while. And uh, hopefully that's my uh, not being able to sleep issue sorted, um, <laughs> put to bed <laughs> as it were. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna make some uh, breakfast and I think we're gonna go on a little tour. Uh, there's this, this kind of monument um, not too far away from here. So I think, uh, I think Joe's, Joe's brother's gonna come and pick him up about 12 and then me and Austin are gonna go off and have a look at this, uh, this little uh, thing, which uh, hopefully could be quite interesting. What I did forget to mention last night when we were having our little chat with Joe, uh, was that I have known Joe right back from the very early days of YouTube. We sort of both got into filmmaking about the same time. Um, and whereas I sort of came away from filmmaking after a year or so, Joe took it on to new levels. And uh, like, it's, like as you heard from the little chat we had with him, he ended up in Hollywood and everything. It was kind of, uh, and he did a lot of filming in LA and, and sort of, you know, he's, he's really, really got into it and he's got a massive following now. Um, in the, the niche that he, he works in. Um, so it's uh, all good stuff. So anyway, right, um, I'm gonna uh, make my breakfast and I will see you shortly. So there we go, that is another camping trip. Uh, it was great to catch up with Joe again and with Austin and, uh, and Damon as well. Damon came out and visited us last night and uh, I had a really nice couple of days. It was really relaxing. It's nice to just kind of get away from the town and chill out in a, in a big field somewhere. Um, the weather wasn't brilliant. You know, the rain was a little bit, uh, well, it kept everything damp. Um, but apart from that, it was a really, really great time. I really enjoyed it. So, and I'm looking forward to uh, doing it the next time, which hopefully will be very soon. Uh, I think we've got a, another trip planned um, towards, uh, eight, well, in April, I think we're going to Tewkesbury. So uh, that should hopefully be a good place. I think Tewkesbury is a very a medieval town. So hopefully you might be able to get, uh, get a good look at it. We'll see. So uh, I've made uh, this video, but I'm also hopefully going to make a separate 360 degree video. Uh, I've learned that you can't mix 360 degree footage with uh, regular footage, um, but I will uh, make this 360 degree video. I've got loads of footage that I took. And to be honest, it's just uh, various places around the campsite. So the next 360 degree video I make will be sort of like a review video of the campsite. Um, so hopefully that'll be, uh, you know, that'll be good. Um, it's, for me, it's just still a case of experimenting and uh, finding out what works and what doesn't. So uh, if you're not into the 360 stuff, then, you know, just kind of hang in there. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing permanent 360 degree videos. I'm just playing around with the medium as it is. So if you don't like those videos then just, you know, don't, don't worry about them. Just, uh, just ignore them. Um, but uh, I know Damon mentioned last night that he looked at my 360 degree video uh, using Google Cardboard glasses um, that, he, that he'd bought. And I think they, they cost him less than five pounds. I think about, he said they were about three pounds something delivered, which was really good. Um, and he used his little smartphone and he said the view was much, much clearer and uh, the quality was much better. So, um, you know I, I'm gonna order some for myself and just see you know whether that's the case and if it is I might recommend it to anybody uh, who you know wants to see the 360 stuff a little bit better now I don't know how long this video is going to be it might be quite a long drawn-out waffly one or it might be 
quite sort of short and to the point. I'm not entirely sure. I know I filmed a lot uh, and I did a lot of filming, especially on the drive up here as well. I sort of went on and on. Um, so I have no idea how this video is going to play out at, at the moment. I've got to get home and edit it all. Um, but uh, this is the end of the video. I'm going to sign off here. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a great rest of the day and I will see you in a future video. Till then, take care.